So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Hart, this is Lisa Hart Fitness and we are doing our Wednesday workout. And we are doing our second workout in week four of our postnatal recovery program. In today's workout, we're going to do a different work rest period to what we did on Monday. So for this workout, you don't need any equipment. You just need to make sure you've got some space around you and a water bottle, a baby monitor if you need it. I've got mine at hand. So let's get started with the warm up. And in three seconds, we're going to start off with some butt kickers. We're going to pull the arms back as we do our butt kicks. So we've got four moves in this warm up and we're going to be completing this circuit twice through. There's going to be no rest however in this workout part just because it's the warm up so we want to make sure our bodies are nice and engaged. Coming into YTWs in three, two, one. So up, out, W, down. Remember this is our coordination move. If you've got baby brain you might struggle. Yeah. Like me, which is why I'm really focusing right now. Coming into those hip circles. So we're going to go half to start off with. Because on Monday we only did our four points. And then we're going to do the back half. And then on our second round, hopefully we should be able to start connecting it up. Last move in this series is a skater move. So side to side. Remember for the first round, it doesn't need to be the furthest stretch. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. For you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do, what to do. I'm on my knees, yeah. I am begging you, begging you. I'll break the rules if it will get me to, get me to, yeah. Going back to our butt kicks in three, two, one. for this one. And then last, we're going to do those skaters. So this time, try and reach a bit further, add a bit more of a up step in the middle bit. Circuit. We're going to start with jumping jacks, then we're going to do an arm to knee pull, then we're going to do some side steps, and then an arm and knee raise. Okay, so we're going to get ready for those jumping jacks. Remember, this is modified jumping jacks though. So three, two, one. 
So raising out to the side. Remember the first time we're looking at control. You don't realize and switch sides. So again, similar to most unilateral moves, you're gonna find one more challenging than the other. I'm a lefty, so my right side's a bit more compromised. Okay, we're gonna do some side steps. So get to one side of your mat. For this one, try and place your hands on your hips. We're going to try and create um, a neutral pelvic tilt, so no anterior, posterior tilt. Okay, really look at, not tucking in too far, but we're looking to stack everything, keep it nice and neutral. I have a real thing about neutral alignment. I don't like the idea of compromising our body because we've got an anterior pelvic tilt or posterior because you can get complications later on in life. arm to knee raise so for this one we're just lifting up slowly okay and off we go So 
then we're going to do our arm to knee raise. So remember, we're just lifting up one at a time. For added challenge, try and increase the pace ever so slightly and try and maintain balance on that leg for a little bit longer. Section, we're going to do our get ups. So remember, we're sitting in a V position to start off with, and then we're coming up onto the left side and then to the right side. Then we're going to do a high to low squat. We're going to do a hinge and lower. So, this is the start of like a good morning, and I'll show you a quick example now. So, we hinge down, remember, pretend we're picking up our baby, and then we're going to lower in towards like a squat. So, we're going to do that move, and then the last move we're going to incorporate into this circuit is a deep squat. So, we're going to hold really low down into our position and hold that for 30 seconds. So we've got 15 seconds and then we're going to get going with the get up. So get down to the floor to start off with, sitting out in that B position, translate your legs cramp up too much and off we go. So one side, raise up. I just go to my left side, it's my dominant side. So. Pick up the side that you feel better with. You can also try different ways of getting up. If you want, if you feel confident. And this one we're going to stay up. Next we're doing our high to low squats. So remember keeping ourselves raised up. You can go up onto your toes for added challenge. Coming back down from that low squat and then raising back up again. In three, two, one, so up and low. So if you can't do the added up onto the toes, that's fine. Coming back 
abs are standing, because we're not doing the move, you can just stand up using some support, or you can try and do the move just once more. Then we're going to go into our high to low squat in three, two, one. Raise up, lower down. And then lastly, we're going to do that double leg raise. So if you can't do a double leg raise, remember just to do one heel at a time. So we're going to come down now. So remember, go on your side to start off with. Roll onto your back. So I'm going to turn my volume up. So in 15 seconds, we're going to do 15 seconds on each leg. So raise up one for three, two, one. And draw those circles. Similar to any move that's unilateral, you may find that one side's easier. So I decided to go for the hard side first. And switching over. Remember, palms go up as we sweep down. Two, one, over the head. He brings me. Challenge, lower your hips, 
or stick another leg out extended. Okay, lower down, we're going to go back onto our backs for our double leg raise. Sorry, excuse me. Press that floor into your back, back into the floor. and then the other one joins it with you. If this is too much, then just do single heel raises. So remember, we're now going back into our leg circles. So raise one leg, I'm going to do my dominant leg first. In small circles. Sometimes it's weird and you might find that you disconnect your arms from the floor. It's fine, just reevaluate and do the move again. In my space and now I'm so previously is your ab work, is your core work. Because you may find, especially if you've had a C-section, that the area will be numb for a few months after. So we're going to just lay here for a second, we're going to concentrate on our breathing. Remember as we breathe out we're going to engage that core. As we inhale we expand that ribcage. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep on linger, linger on. On repeat like it will be my favorite. Take the time to unwind from your day. If you've got a baby, which obviously you have if you're doing these workouts, no matter what the age, it's a challenge and you need to take time for yourself. So we're just going to do a pretzel stretch or a figure four stretch. So place that leg over one knee and raise it up. If you're working out at an odd time to fit in around your baby's schedule, 
sometimes doing the cool down at the end of it is just a nice way to unwind. So Jova. In the heat from a hot California. I forgot how you look like in rain. I swear I never thought it would matter. Okay, I'm just gonna raise one leg at a time, the other leg. And all I want you to do is just hold it there, almost in like a reverse tabletop. And then the other one, we're going to come onto our side. We're going to raise up. We're going to sit cross legged and we're just going to raise our chest, elevate our chest up. on your breathing I just want to say a thank you once again we are one more workout away from finishing our recovery program if you enjoyed these workouts if you have anything you'd like to ask about the recovery period of your postnatal journey or if you want to comment on what you thought of the actual workouts themselves please do in that section below if you haven't already do like this channel and hit the subscribe button it really does make all the difference and it is so great that we've got so many people that are following along with these workouts already so thank you to those of you that do subscribe to this channel and have liked these videos but for me it's bye for now in my space and now